Step Into the World of 1953 Seconds Beat the Devil, a film that defies conventional genre boundaries and captivates audiences with its unique blend of wit and suspense. Have you ever wondered about the untold stories behind the scenes? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? As we explore the nooks and crannies of this cinematic gem, keep these questions in mind. Beat the Devil is more than just a movie, it's an experience that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Can you share a personal story of how this film has inspired or impacted your life? Feel free to immerse yourself in the nostalgia of its scenes and characters. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about Beat the Devil. Did you know that the initial reception was lukewarm, with critics struggling to categorize its genre? Yet, over the years, it has earned a cult following for its unconventional narrative and stellar performances. Humphrey Bogart's portrayal of Billy Danruther adds a layer of charisma to the film, leaving an enduring impression. As we journey through the anecdotes, reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What makes Beat the Devil special for you? Let's celebrate the timeless allure of Beat the Devil and the memories it has woven into the fabric of cinema history. Share your thoughts and experiences and let the conversation unfold. Beat the Devil, directed by John Huston in 1953, is a classic adventure film with a unique blend of comedy and suspense. The movie originated from a screenplay by Truman Capote and John Huston, adapting a novel by Claude Cockburn. The plot follows a diverse group of characters, including a group of swindlers, as they embark on a journey to East Africa in pursuit of uranium-rich land. Throughout the film, the audience encounters an array of eccentric and memorable characters, played by a stellar cast led by Humphrey Bogart, Jennifer Jones, and Gina Lollabrigida. What sets Beat the Devil apart is its distinctive style, combining elements of film noir with a satirical take on the adventure genre. The film's witty dialogue, unexpected twists, and playful approach to traditional storytelling make it a standout in the cinematic landscape of the 1950s. Despite its initial lukewarm reception, the film has gained a cult following over the years, appreciated for its unconventional narrative and charismatic performances. Iconic characters like Billy Danruther and the sultry Mrs. Gwendolyn Chelm have become synonymous with the film's charm. Their interactions, along with the ensemble cast's chemistry, contribute to the film's enduring appeal. While Beat the Devil may not have achieved blockbuster success upon its release, its influence on later works in the adventure comedy genre is unmistakable. In popular culture, the film's quirky humor and offbeat characters have inspired subsequent generations of filmmakers and storytellers. Beat the Devil stands as a testament to the creativity and risk-taking of its creators, offering a cinematic experience that transcends its initial critical reception. The film's legacy continues to be celebrated, proving that sometimes it takes time for a true gem to be recognized. A cinematic classic that defies conventions and captivates audiences, Beat the Devil remains a testament to the enduring power of unconventional storytelling and memorable characters in the world of cinema. In John Huston's 1953 film Beat the Devil, the choice of character names holds a subtle, yet intriguing, connection to Yiddish folklore. The characters Mrs. Gwendolyn Chelm and Billy Danruther share the surname Chelm, a reference to a village in Eastern Europe in Yiddish folklore, known for being ruled by wise fools. This naming choice suggests a clever inside joke, adding a layer of depth to the narrative. John Huston, the director and writer of the film, revealed in his autobiography an interesting backstory to the movie's production. After reading the novel, he convinced Humphrey Bogart to purchase the film rights through Bogart's Santana Pictures, Inc., the British company Romulus Films, Limited, with which Huston had prior collaborations, entered a partnership with Santana. This collaboration extended to include Italian producers, resulting in a unique co-production arrangement. Notably, Bogart's financial compromise, reducing his usual salary, played a crucial role in bringing the project to fruition. Beat the Devil marks the fifth and final collaboration between Humphrey Bogart and Peter Laura. Their cinematic history includes iconic films such as The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, All Through the Night, and Passage to Marseille. This enduring partnership adds a historical dimension to the movie, contributing to the unique dynamics of the cast. 
These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the intricate web of decision-making and collaboration that shaped Beat the Devil. The film's narrative choices, subtle nods to folklore, and the financial intricacies involved in its production offer a deeper understanding of its significance in the context of 1950s cinema. John Huston, the mastermind behind the 1953 movie Beat the Devil, had a hearty laugh on set during a particularly memorable incident. After a crash scene left Humphrey Bogart with a bloody mouth, Huston couldn't contain his amusement. Bogart, in response to the director's laughter, muttered, John, you dirty, no good fun of a biff. This behind the scenes moment not only showcases the camaraderie on set, but also hints at the unique blend of humor that infused the film. It's a testament to the resilience and wit of the cast, adding an unexpected layer to the production. Discover more about the intriguing dynamics behind the scenes of Beat the Devil, a film where laughter and unexpected twists went hand in hand. During the production of the 1953 movie Beat the Devil, an unexpected challenge arose when Humphrey Bogart, the star of the film, was involved in a serious automobile accident. The accident knocked out several of Bogart's teeth, impacting his ability to speak. In response, director John Huston reportedly took an unconventional approach. He hired a young British actor known for his mimicry skills to re-record some of Bogart's spoken lines during post-production looping. Although the specific actor providing Bogart's voice during these scenes remains unconfirmed, there are speculations that it might have been Peter Sellers. Sellers, celebrated for his versatility and mimicry abilities, could have seamlessly stepped into the role to ensure the film's continuity. Despite the challenges faced during production, the behind-the-scenes collaboration between Houston and the uncredited mimic added an intriguing layer to the making of Beat the Devil. This unexpected turn of events sheds light on the resilience and adaptability of the filmmaking process, demonstrating the lengths taken to overcome obstacles and maintain the integrity of the final product. The use of a mimic to preserve Bogart's performance showcases the resourcefulness of the production team and adds an interesting footnote to the history of this classic film. Beat the Devil, with its unique behind-the-scenes anecdotes, continues to stand as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of its creators, revealing the lesser-known facets that contribute to its enduring legacy and cinematic history. The film's ability to navigate challenges and deliver a compelling narrative exemplifies the collaborative spirit that defines the world of filmmaking. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is Beat the Devil, let the reel of nostalgia roll and intertwine with the threads of your memories. Did the enigmatic allure of Bogart, the charm of Jones, or the twists of the plot leave an indelible mark on your cinephile soul? This 1953 gem is more than celluloid. It's a time capsule of intrigue, humor, and unforeseen alliances. As the credits roll, I invite you to take a cinematic pause, a moment to reflect on your personal odyssey with this classic. Did you find yourself on the edge of your seat during the tangled plot twists? Or perhaps you were captivated by the subtle dance of shadows on the silver screen? Now, it's your turn to share. Your thoughts, your favorite scenes, the nuances that resonated with you let them echo in the virtual amphitheater of our shared appreciation for the seventh art. Unveil the layers of your connection with Beat the Devil as we weave a tapestry of collective reminiscence. Whether you discovered this cinematic gem in the black and white nostalgia of yesteryears or stumbled upon it in the vibrant pixels of today, your story adds a unique hue to the canvas of this timeless masterpiece. So, drop your musings, your reflections, and let's revel in the diversity of our cinematic experiences. Thank you for joining this voyage through the celluloid realms of Beat the Devil. Your time and thoughts are the stars that illuminate our cinematic constellation. Until our next rendezvous with the silver screen, may your memories of this classic dance in the recesses of your mind like flickering frames of a bygone era. Lights fade, curtains close until next we meet in the labyrinth of storytelling. Appreciatively, 